I have three facts about the drug war here that I'm itching to share with you because I think these are really interesting facts. This was in a BuzzFeed article where they listed more than three. There was probably, I don't know, 10, 15, maybe 20 separate facts. But what I did is I picked the ones that I find most interesting and I couldn't wait to come on air and uh, let these out. So first of all, this is one I, I think I knew beforehand or I've read similar statistics to this. But I mean, it really is mind boggling. Half of all prisoners in U.S. federal jails are inside for drug offenses. Half. Half. Think about how many people have had their lives ruined because we have dumbass puritanical laws about drugs. And I always make this comparison because it's true. Uh, if you look at alcohol consumption, how many people last night got absolutely hammered off of tequila, or rum, or bourbon, or vodka, or beer? And that's a drug. In fact, it's a worse drug than marijuana. It's a worse drug than tobacco. That's not my opinion. That was from a, a study that ranked the lethality of drugs from Britain around the year 2005. Okay. And we're locking people up for doing one substance, but not for another substance. You could be the president of the United States if you do one substance. You could be the CEO of a major corporation if you do one substance. If you do the other one, lock them up, throw away the key. Think about how arbitrary that is, because there's no moral dimension to drugs. There's nothing about the person who decides to relax by uh, taking Valium. There's nothing morally superior or inferior doing that compared to having a, a glass of whiskey. There's nothing. Uh, superior or inferior somebody who decides to do cocaine to you know be awake and uppity and and on the ball when they're at work versus somebody who takes Adderall which is meth which is an amphetamine it's not a methamphetamine it's an amphetamine which is a similar drug it's it's categorically speaking and in its chemical makeup it's very similar to crystal meth and cocaine so one is legal one's illegal I mean there's no way to keep up. Oftentimes, the drugs that are illegal, I mean, marijuana is the perfect example. It's the least harmful, and it's illegal. People lose their lives over it. Half of all, I mean, half of all prisoners in U.S. federal jails are victims of what is essentially the new Jim Crow, because oftentimes it's poor and minorities, uh, poor communities and minority communities that are disproportionately targeted. Black people, white people use drugs at the same rate, but black people get arrested four times more often four times more often. That's a fact. Now, the second one. Drug money kept the global economy afloat during the financial crisis. Quote, when UN drug chief Antonio Maria Costa declared that $352 billion of laundered drug cash was the only liquid capital available to some banks on the brink of collapse in 2008, the banking world fiend outrage However, by 2012, one of, the, one of America's largest banks, Wachovia, and one of Britain's largest banks, HSBC, were forced to pay out record fines for failing to turn away money being laundered by Mexican drug cartels. So in other words, what that means is when the economy tanked due to the Great Recession, there was no uh, capital anywhere. So these banks were like, oh my goodness, what are we going to do? And then these incredibly solvent drug cartels, because they have a monopoly on a, on a very popular um, good, right? They have all this money, so they went to the, the banks and they said, finally, we have some capital reserves now, and they took them in. In fact, HSBC, not only did they work with Mexican drug cartels, they worked with Al-Qaeda and other people as well. It's amazing that they didn't get actual harsher penalties because, of course, our political system is bought by the banks. That's why they got away with it. But uh, it shows you that this is a business. It's a business. And if drugs were legal, you would dissolve the black market because no longer would cartels be able to compete with legal corporations that are selling drugs, okay? Instead of people, uh, and it would eliminate so much crime and so much violence because instead of people solving disputes by using weapons in a back alley, they would be wearing suits and ties and going to court to sue. So yet again, it's a no-brainer, but I had no idea that it was the drug trade that essentially propped up a lot of the big banks shows you just how powerful of a thing and how big of an industry drugs can be. And then the final fact, this one is just an LOL kind of fact. 15 years ago, the UN promised, promised 
to banish the world of all drugs within 10 years. Their slogan was, quote, a drug-free world, we can do it. <laughs> oh, man, that's cute. That's adorable. 